Greetings and salutations, I am Keb. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Victoria 2 as the Russian Empire. I'm just trying not to mess things up too badly. Because as I said, I'm not particularly good at this game. And I've never quite understood just uh, how to play around the infamy here. Never have. Because it's quite limiting. I mean, taking just a few provinces here would have spiked the infamy close to the cap. And if I cross the infamy cap, everybody, everybody would declare war on me on the, at the drop of a hat. And that wouldn't be pleasant. So, yeah. No matter. Basically, as far as I understand it, um, when you sphere a country, that goes becomes part of your internal market, essentially. So that more or less counts as your own country at that point uh, as far as the game is concerned with the economics and everything so yeah if we spear things that's actually okay that's a form of conquest really one thing that's annoying we probably can't get to the vast colonizing in Africa unless we step on it uh, or more specifically, step on quite a few people. Denmark joined uh, right. Denmark became part of the Federation's sphere. That's not good. So the weaker targets would be... Well, Morocco, really. Or even Tunis. Not exactly ideal. Same with Algeria. That's pissing off these guys very much. Egypt, of course, is a potential target, but... Uh, and that is actually the closest we have, but we'd have to plow through the Ottomans. And that's going to take quite a bit of effort uh, to get all the way down to Egypt that way. Uh, other than that, we have Oman. Which would probably be a not much easier target if we had a port. Which we do not. Um... Uh, so, Macron, could I possibly justify a war against you? I can make a protectorate out of you, or a puppet. But I can't actually take your land, which is what I want. And, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get anywhere. I don't, even if I'd wanted to, I'd need a navy, right? Okay, so I can justify on you. You're a primitive nation, uncivilized. You are a primitive nation and uncivilized. Why can't I justify a conquest on you? Is it because you're too far away? There must be a very good reason. Not that I can figure it out. Atje, what about you? Uh, and still nothing there. Yeah, okay, take nine. Brene. No. There must be something with range. So, for instance, Korea. Oh, they, they like us. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Wait, 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 wait. Korea is in the American sphere. What are you doing over here? What about Japan? I couldn't declare war on Japan either. Is that because they're puppeted? I have no idea. Mongolia, if I were just to... No, that would not work. We'd have to go with the Chinese Empire itself. Which is not something I am <laughs> inclined to do. Uh, free people. Liberate country. Acquire substate region. Nah. Don't think we want to mess with anyone there. Alright, we found medicine. 
Medicine, good stuff. Uh, do I want to... I kind of want to get down here just so we have some military tech. I'm starting to feel we're quite far behind, so... Even though that's going to increase the supply cost considerably. Uh, let's do it. I don't want to get out the breach of the rifle so we can get the colonial negotiations. Wait a second, do we need even more for? Oh, you need the next step. Okay, so um, uh, the life rating thing won't happen unless this invention can't fire until we get to the machine guns, which is 1870. And I suppose that's the same thing that I mean over here. Yeah, mission to civilize. You pretty much have to get to the next step, which is 1850. Hmm. Have bad boy of at least 125. Whoa! 125? How the bugger all I could get to 125 without burning the game to pieces? 25 is the cap. 125. Is there some tech that increases this infamy cap which I'm not aware of? Uh, uh, now, I'm, now I'm properly confused. Uh. Oh, well, uh, we'll go with breach of the rifles. I think we need at least one more step there. And then we'll probably have to go somewhere here to get monies. I'd like to start pushing into railroads, but we kind of need... Uh, probably need both of these two before we can even consider that. Or even this. How much do the naval techs cost? Too much. And they don't really give us anything that we need. All things considered. And of course there's commerce. There are still... Tax efficiency is always good. Getting more taxes. Given... And this as well. Market. I'm thinking, do you want to delay, delay the guns? I don't think we can do the uh, civilizing stuff until much later after all then, so... Yeah... Taxes is pretty much our income, right? So... Increases taxes is good. Yeah... That's factory stuff, that's raw output from industry, which would be good. This is more administrative efficiency. And two inventions that give quite a bit of taxes. Oh, we can't ever get the silver standard, because we're not equality, okay. We can get the other one. Because our econ economic policy is not... Or is that actually... Oh no, you can get the inventions. It's just uh, the chance is higher if you're in... Okay, so that's how it goes. Um, as for this stuff over there... Here you get a flat 5% and a possibility of 3 more. For inventions. Uh, administrative efficiency... Is currently what? 59%. So we're getting there. Um, we want to get these two techs instead. These techs instead then. Instead of raw production. Hmm. Uh, we are making how much? Our... 
production is timber for primarily. Let's see if we can find the timber. Which is not particularly worth much. We're certainly one of the big producers. I'm probably spamming the market with timber to be honest, but uh, and cattle and grain. We're no real industry, so I honestly don't know what's worth more. Uh, medicine, that means we should be able to get the... Uh, what's it called? Madaria. There we are. Life rating. Lovely. Uh, to go this there. This done. You know what? I'm gonna try this stock exchange. I just want to see if we get more money out of this than the raw production. I will see. I need more money. I do need those guns though. Uh, next time. Because this shouldn't take too long, right? No, it's gonna take a year. But our research points are quite up there now. I mean, we started out with, what, 1.6? I think we started out at a tenth of what we have now. So... Yeah, not bad. Alright, uh, we have more particular points. Which we need to spend on improving relations with someone. Probably Egypt... And... Colombia... Ooh, another newspaper. Württemberg fears our might. Yeah. Lovely. Dog bites a child. Yeah, that are important news, clearly. I mean, this is the same kind of news newspaper thing that we have in imperialism. Sort of. But there are a lot of... Oh my. Portugal was in their sphere and they kicked them. Oh, interesting. Really? Okay, this war is raging on. Uh, attacker. Da -da -da -da. That's... Oh, uh, we'll check the war score in a moment. What's this event? The... Okay, uh, circle. The Petrachevsky Circle, whatever that goes. Okay, we lose plurality. And everyone loses consciousness. And that's bad, it's gonna it set our research back. I don't want that. And... Wait, was it Lucka that started this war? Attacker occupation, plus five. Defender occupation, minus ten. So, who's occupying what, where? Oh, so the, they have decided to occupy the Papal States while... Oh, cool. Well, France is going in there. Okay, so it's just a bit of a stalemate still. Oh, a big event. Which I missed. Okay. Because I slipped down there, darn it. Ah, uh, oh, oh well. Um. We'll just cement them to us by improving relations. And the Ottomans decided to eat more of Egypt. Oh, 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 rebel factions? What, 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 what's this fan? fancy thing? Nationalists! Uh, there's a suffrage movement, which is getting pretty big. But we have plenty of suppression points. 
so you are up here, Finnish nationalists. I guess it's time to just do a quick check here. Uh, da, 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 we are gonna check revolt risk, revolt risk. There we are. So there are some very revolting Finns up here. My goodness, are they ever pissed? Um, gonna take this small group and say hi. What about the rest of the country? Can we actually see? Well, the rest of the Finns aren't that mad. It's just those guys right up there that are really, really cross. And other than that, well, most people down here are quelled. There are some militancies here. Uh, we can probably uh, redeploy some armies for that. Uh, let's do that. That, that is at least a color change I can recognize. And I do believe that a, an army present should um, have an impact on this. Okay, we have clergymen in Kursk. That can probably be switched around. Should I keep in investing in clergymen? Let's see. Clergymen provides three research points. Do I get more points for more clergymen than that? Than that? I don't think I do, but I do believe they impact literacy, so yeah. I'm gonna switch you over to the next province in line. And I think I'm gonna just have the other ones get them up to at least 3%-ish. There we go. So the one in Kiev you can also move. Is there a way for me to do something fancier than this? Not really. We can do immigrants. We can encourage industries, which won't really matter. Uh, yeah, not really. Not really anything interesting there. Are some of these guys assimilating? No. Wish I could sort by assimilation. Would be interesting. But again, and just check my militancy. Yeah, the Finns up there, they're really, really angry. Angry, angry Finns. And they're angry because. They aren't getting in much in terms of... Yeah, they have no wealth whatsoever. They're losing money. They're very cross. Let's see, Finnish is a core culture. Yeah, so they will never integrate as long as they're a core culture. So they won't assimilate. Unless we can somehow remove the finished course. I don't think there's a way for me to do that. Naval bases. Do I actually want to build a naval base on this side of the world? Like in St. Saint Petersburg already has one. Now yeah, we level two. Interesting. Don't think we need much more than that. And we've been in the wrong position anyway. Still building the naval base over here. More news. Ethiopia and Egypt, the Ottomans. Ethiopia keeps attacking Egypt. I don't quite understand this, but it don't, it don't, doesn't look like they're actually getting anything. Ooh. Population growth goes up a bit. Thank you for that invention. You are still at war with both, yeah. This war is go not going too well for, for whom, actually? Which of these are the attacker? The, the attacker is on this side, right? Yeah, they are the attacker. 
and they are losing. Yay! More plurality. Yeah, the United States are definitely out for blood. <laughs> they want their land. And they seem to be doing quite well. A second Ethiopian liberation. Yeah, you're not going to succeed there either, I think. We have no current CBEs. We're allied to Brazil and the North Germans. And we're still the fifth. Our military power is pretty weak, but look at this, they are losing quite a bit of military power. And this is with the reserves mobilized, wow. Why look at that, Austria is down to 24. Austria is down to 24. Hmm. Oh, never mind then. <laughs> that will prevent me from attacking, definitely. Don't want to mess with the United Kingdom. Just not gonna happen. So, are you guys marching still? Yeah, you're marching up into the frigid north. Because here they are incredibly hostile. Let's see that 3% clergyman in Kazan. You can switch over for the next province. Just so it's even. I have no idea if this is a good idea or not, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So here, instead of in Kazan. We are getting more research points, but I believe that's from plura plurality. And increased literacy, 16% now. The army arrived. And uh, that should have an effect on militancy. You the populations. How are you doing in terms of your anger management? Well, uh, these guys quell down, but these fellers are still very upset. Not many of them there, but they are very upset. Yay, tax efficiency, and that definitely spiked our income. Oh, well, that opens up uh, this level of text too. Uh, da, 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 da. Do you want to push here then? Nationalism and imperialism. As far as I understand, that opens up this tech. We have zero percent chance. But if we go there, we'll have a much bigger chance for doing so. The problem... The problem with going there... Is that we would get uh, separatism. Which can be rather, rather annoying. Um, so I don't know. But it would increase our chances of getting the missions to civilize. Which is rather nice. It costs a fortune though. Th 14,000 points. That's a lot. That's the same thing over here. But well, look at that. Oh. 50% extra education efficiency. From the invention. Oh. That is sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go nationalism and imperialism, and then we're gonna go biologism after that. And then we have to plow down to machine guns, maybe. <laughs> no, uh, breached all the rifles after that. And if we somehow get that far, it'll probably be 1860. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how long that takes. But after that, we have to go with the industry. We maybe experimental railroad, and finally get. See if you can spend some money and actually build things. Yeah, 5% extra tax efficiency was lovely. 
Uh, we have no tariffs. These are maxed. It is time to just cut back taxes. Uh, yep. Read my lips. No more taxes. Let's see just how much can I cut him? Because this really changed our budget around. To 90% first. Got the rich tax even less than that. I mean, the rich shouldn't be taxed, right? Okay, like so. Let the budget live for a few days and see. I mean, because it varies so much. Okay, um... Hey, malaria! Lovely! Uh, cut these to 85, I think that's gonna be okay. Yeah, uh, let's try that. And another newspaper. Nothing really interesting. We got the malaria invention, so now we can possibly colonize more. Possibly, possibly, possibly. Let's see. Uh, snake. There must be a map mode somewhere. There we go, colonial map mode. It's nothing there. Or there. And I suppose everything else is too darn far away. But we got five points more, right? Promise light writing of 15. We can... Uh, yeah, we need 30. So we're not quite there yet. And naval range, yeah, naval range. How far away are the, these things? Naval range, 236, 200 needed. Closest naval base, Sevastopol. Wait a second, are you telling me we actually have... We almost have naval range down here. 188 of 150 needed. And Cherson. Uh, what? what? Isn't Cherson somewhere... Uh, Here-ish? Sevastopol. Sevastopol is here. Cherson is here. These naval bases count. That must be in a direct line or something. That's also Sevastopol. So we don't have the naval range here. No matter what. We're getting... So why are we at naval range? 207, 200 needed. 188, 200, 150 needed. What? Something about this tooltip just doesn't make sense. Naval range, 207, 200 needed. That's what it says, right? Or is or just saying that naval range, uh, our naval range is just shy? I'm trying to understand this tooltip. Uh. Because if we need 150 and we have 188, then we're in range for this one. As far as I understand, then, but why is this number in red? If that's the case. And if the other, it, if it's the other way around, uh, I do not understand this. Over here in uh, still Sevastopol, that's the closest one. We'll see what happens when we finish the naval base here. It's gonna be close and it's gonna be soon. But yeah, uh, we're gonna need a lot more uh, life rating fixes. Uh, 25, we need. So we're getting close to these. 
I suppose that's something. Power tied up in maintenance. Power tied up in maintenance. That would be over here, right? Colonial province, right. If I were to say I wanted to go here, that is within range, but it requires considerably more. Well, we definitely want to get Alaska. Uh, just so we can uh, clear up some maintenance. I believe that's our only colony. Couldn't go in here. Ah, uh, never mind. It's not yet time. That's basically it. We need the other two texts as well, so. Unless there is somewhere with, with 25 as a marker. There probably are some provinces with 25 somewhere. But they will be far out of range of us, I suspect. And they're probably already settled. All I see is 15. Not 10 down there, yuck. Ah, tensions between, okay. So, let's see, it's in Jiang. It's here. Fall back, lose influence, lose prestige. I don't really want to lose prestige. I'll take the infamy. I'm a bad boy. Maybe not. Uh, okay, we're still making money, which is good. Small war chest. At least we have no loans. We have quite a solid budget. At least for now. Who knows how long that's gonna last. And again we have, let's see, the other rebels. There are still those little pesky fins that are just so cross at the world. Yeah, so there are 170 fins up here that are very angry. And the rest of them have become fins. <laughs> uh, become Russians. If it wasn't for the core, they would be. So let's see, they are... What's driving them so high? Uh, but they're not driving... They're not driven high quickly either. Hmm. That's the odd part. And it doesn't seem like having a, a military division there does anything. Not that I can see, at least. No. No matter. Uh, as for improving relations... Through Make sure Sweden stays with us. Yeah, well, Colombia. Oh, well, I'm not sure as well. So, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm gonna solve this colonization issue, but we'll see. And that is Persia, desiring an alliance. Well, they're firmly in our sphere anyway, I'm, un I'm okay with that. As long as you don't declare war on the Ottomans or something. The Ottomans have... they have allied France, of course. And this war is, this war is still raging. And the gold rush! Yes, please! 
I'll take that. Gold is always nice. So yeah, our populations are now doing okay. They're getting their life needs. It's surviving. Most of them are getting their everyday needs, at least those. And maybe not the poor. Poor is trying to stay alive. Even the rich are kind of struggling to get to stay wealthy, but... Oh well. And the cost of administration is going up, up, up. I don't like it. Still. Getting our taxes. Getting our education done. We have someone we can play ball with. Xinjian, okay. Hello, sir. You, we are going to increase your opinion of us. There you go. Lovely. Oh, yeah. And... We should probably take a pause here. We've been playing for a while, so thank you for watching.